Hi my CD friends, this is Brenda here from the Pop-Up Homestead. Today I want to talk to you about planting potatoes. And not the rogue way I did in the pine, pine underneath the pine trees, but this is more of like a conventional way that most people plant potatoes. So I'm going to do it two different ways. I'm going to show you how to plant them in a garden bed, and I'm going to show you how to plant them in a container. So let me turn the screen around and let me show you what I'm talking about. All right. So these are potatoes that I planted in a container. These were just potatoes I had from the grocery store. They were starting to go bad. I put a few inches of soil in the bottom and I just filled the rest with dirt and they'll grow up through there. And when the plant dies back, the potatoes are ready. So this one isn't quite as full. Joy's checking it out, she's my little helper. Let's see. So you can see the potatoes are still near the surface here. Can see, I don't know how well you can see that there's kind of a glare, but yeah, that's one. There's the chickens, it's a gorgeous day here in Tennessee, 70 degrees and sunny, which we've had rain for the last four or five days, so I will take it. Uh, everything's was cold and wet. This is the garden bed, it's not completed yet, but the reason I'm planting the potatoes now is because it's not completed yet. So I'm gonna put the potatoes in this layer. And then, um, and then when we put the top layer of fill in, um, it'll cover the potatoes and they'll be a little deeper. So what I mainly wanted to show you is what the potatoes look like. So I had potatoes, like most people have, that were starting to get eyes. And all an eye is, is, you see that? It's sprouting, it's starting to get a sprout. Don't ever throw those away. Throw those in a container throw them someplace outside and cover them up and they will grow. You could put them under grass clippings, you can put them under mulch, you can put them in a pot. I'm gonna be putting them in this garden bed. You can see right there, I roughed up the area a little bit. And basically what I did is you can plant, you can plant whole potatoes or you can cut them in half. I chose to cut these in half and I waited a few days after I cut them and see how it's dry. It's because they're healed in. So that's called healed in. So you cut the potatoes in half, you let them sit for a few days to get a little bit of a skin on them so they're not still wet and slimy. And then you can go ahead and plant them. And you plant them uh, with skin down. So all I'm gonna do is set them in, easy peasy. It's not hard, it's not time consuming. And for potatoes that would have otherwise been going in the trash, why not? I'm going to give them a little bit of room, but I plan on putting a lot of potatoes in this year, so I'm not going to give them that much room. Because remember, potatoes grow up. So they're going to grow up from where they're at, and they're going to grow above that. So they don't dig down and dig below that. See, I'm going to separate this out a little bit. So we've got a little bit more room here. Give them just a tiny bit more room. That's it. Then all I'm gonna do is cover them with soil. And then when we fill the bed in completely, then that'll put a good, I don't know, foot above, above where these are planted. And then I can harvest potatoes out of here. So. Planting potatoes on a homestead. Quick, easy. Anyone can do it. Literally, potatoes almost grow themselves. If you leave them in your dark cupboard for too long in the bag, I'm sure we've all seen it. Either you get the black, icky dripping, or you get a plant started. So, Brenda from the Pop-Up Homestead. Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you soon.